Attack on Mika! I'm Toru Miai. I'm in ninth grade. I was the quiet type. I always kept to myself. I wasn't bullied or anything, but I always let others tell me what to do. I wanted to change that, but... Toru! I forgot my homework! Let me see yours! Oh, uh, okay. I thought about talking to my teacher, but I couldn't. Why? Because she was really strict and scary. Okay, class, let's begin. Open your textbooks to page 150. Uh... Hey, you were supposed to clean the blackboard today. Oh, crap, I forgot. Who cares? Okay, let's review what we did in our last class. Huh? huh? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to clean the blackboard. <laughs> She's so scary. Her name was Miss Sujino. She never smiled, not even once. I could never tell what she was thinking about. Everyone at school was terrified of her. This isn't the first time this has happened. I warned you about this. I also said I wasn't going to stop the class for this, remember? Yeah. Ugh, she's so annoying. Just erase it and move on already. Not so loud. His name was Sada. He was always talking back to her. He was one of the bad kids. All the teachers hated him. And he didn't like Miss Sujino very much. Just the other day... Huh, made it just in time! Tanaka absent, Sada late. What? But I'm here! Look, I was only late a few seconds, come on! What if this was your job, huh? What if you're late to an important meeting and lose a business deal? You could get fired for that. Grow up. What? It was always like this in our class. A few months later, graduation was right around the corner. But then, something bad happened. Our last homework. Most of you turned in a blank page. What's the meaning of this? Oh, uh, the questions were too hard. We didn't even learn how to solve them yet, so... <sighs> so you gave up. Is that it? <sighs> you gotta take initiative. You're all gonna be in high school soon. If you don't know how to solve a problem, look it up. Oh, she's got a point, but she's so strict. Ugh. Screw her! She just likes to mess with us! Forget her! Things started to get awkward in our class. Graduation was a few weeks away. <sighs> then, a few days later... Today we have rehearsal for graduation. Do not be late. See you all at the gymnasium. <laughs> Screw that! Graduation? <laughs> Who cares? I know! Let's ruin the graduation ceremony to get back at her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Jerk. Come on, who's with me? Let's get her back. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Sounds fun. What about you, Toru? You're mad at her too, right? Huh? Uh, I... You're in, right? Uh, yeah. All right then. When we leave the gymnasium, let's all expose her in front of the entire school. Ah, uh, good idea! That'll show her! She's gonna flip out! Uh... Who's gonna go first? Toru! He's the shortest one in class, so... What? Why me? Him? You sure? Yeah, he's the quiet type, so it'll surprise her even more! True! What? No! Almost everyone in class was on board, and I was told to go first. As always, I couldn't say no. Graduation was a few days away. Uh, but this is partially her fault, too. Maybe I should just go with the flow. Huh? What's that? Is that her notebook? I grabbed the notebook and started reading. What the? It was filled with information on all the students in the class. She wrote all this? I couldn't believe it. What do you think you're doing? Miss Tsuchino, uh, I I'm sorry, I, I, I... <sighs> Whatever. I shouldn't have left it out like that in the first place. Huh? Time flies, huh? You're all about to graduate. Yeah. 
kids in this class were out of control. When I got assigned to this class, all the teachers felt bad for me. Oh? But I'm gonna miss you guys. Huh? Mia, I, I never told you this, but you always let others tell you what to do. Going with the flow isn't a bad thing, but sometimes you have to stand up for yourself. You're not a kid anymore, so... okay? Huh? She knows me better than I know myself. She really cares about us. I had no idea. Only you can decide how to live your life, so... don't forget that, okay? Okay! I gotta stop everyone. She doesn't deserve this. But that was easier said than done. I didn't have any friends, so I didn't even know where to start. And I had to go against everyone. It was a scary thought. Then, graduation day was here. The day is finally here. Sada, you're still up for this, right? Um, yeah, of course. Everyone seems nervous. Maybe I can stop this. This is wrong! Huh? huh? What did you just say, Taru? Uh... No, I gotta stand up for what's right. Listen up, guys. I got something to tell you. What? what? The graduation ceremony went on as planned. <laughs> then, Miss Sujino came in front of us to lead us out of the gymnasium. Okay, class, follow me. Hold up! Before we go, we want to say something. What are you doing? Get back in line! Toru, go! <sighs> Miss Sujino, the advice you gave me the other day, it really got to me. Thank you! Oh, what are you doing? Same here! Me too. When I told you I was bad at math, you made a workbook from scratch just for me. You really helped me out. Me too! Same here. Thank you, Miss Sujino. What... what is all this? Miss Sujino, I heard you talking the other day. Ugh, I'm late again! Miss Seguno, you gotta do something about Sada! Huh? He's always running late! He's out of control! He's such a troublemaker! I know he's always late. For that, I'm sorry. Ugh, she's probably gonna talk shit about me! But the thing is, he doesn't have a father. That's why he's always late. Huh? You see, he's got a little sister, and he's always taking her to school. He never talks about it, but I know. He's not a troublemaker like you say. What? Uh, so what? He's still tardy half of the time. Yeah, he's a troublemaker. Just get him in line. I'm just saying, he's got his reasons, that's all. I'll keep my eyes on him, though. I just want what's best for him. Ugh! You were always looking out for us, but I didn't know. I had it all wrong. I knew I had to apologize, but I couldn't for some reason. And now, the school year is over. So, yeah, sorry. And thank you. And hey, I wasn't late today. Sada. All right, guys, ready? Miss Ujino, thank you for a wonderful year! <laughs> so it wasn't just me. She was helping everyone out. She just didn't show it. Deep down, we all knew that she cared about us, but none of us were mature enough to admit it. Then, back at the classroom... You guys embarrassed me in front of everyone! It was Toru! What? Yeah, he planned the whole thing! Listen, guys, we shouldn't do this to Miss Sujino. Huh? huh? She really cares about us. Trust me, I know. I can't go into details, but I know. So I'm out. I don't want any part in this. What? Why? Sorry, but my mind is made up. There's no going back now. I'm out too. Same here. She actually helped me out a lot. Huh? Same here! Me too! Me too. Guys... Uh, same here. 
Me, I, you? <laughs> yeah, what you told me the other day, it really got to me. Thank you, Miss Tsujino. <gasps> well, glad everything worked out. Yeah, and we got to see Miss Tsujino cry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and so, middle school was over. We were able to bury the hatchet with Miss Tsujino. Ten years later, we still kept in touch with Miss Tsujino. We were all grown up now. Being nice is one thing, but sometimes tough love is necessary. Miss Tsujino taught us a valuable lesson, and for that, we'll forever be grateful. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.